One of the places in the world I've always wanted to go is exactly where this today's guests are from, Three Days Grace. They're a band that's been around a hell of a long time, from early 2000. And yet, here I am on my channel, hitting the brand new year, 2022, and I'm only now introducing them. But better late than never when it comes to music. I used to be a person who followed rock music religiously. And in my heyday, I was a Scorpion fan, believe it or not. All those younger people will not know who Scorpion are, but your parents and the people around you and anybody that follows kind of a rockish pop punk alternative rock pop will know who the legendary band is. But back to Three Days Grace, a little bit of bio and then we get straight into the song because it's quite a few lyrics. They are a Canadian rock band, as I've mentioned, forming in Norwood, Ontario in 1997. And the band's original iteration was called Groundswell and played in various local Norwood backyard parties and area establishments from 93 to 96. Based in Toronto, the band's original lineup consisted of guitarist and lead vocalist Adam Gontier, who's now left, and drummer and backing vocalist Neil Sanderson, and, based, and bassist Brad Waste. In 2003, Barry Stock was recruited as the band's lead guitarist, making them a four member band. And in 2013, Gontier left the band and was replaced by My Darkest Days vocalist Matt Waste, who is also the younger brother of Brad Waste. Now, currently signed to RSA Records, they released six studio albums to date and each at three year intervals Three Days Grace in 2003 and upwards to the current one. Now, they've been certified by the Music Canada as platinum, triple, and double platinum, respectively. The band has had 15 number one songs on the Billboard Hot Mainstream Rock Charts and three number one hits on alternative songs. And this particular one here that we're going to play is called The Mountain. Now, they won an award for The Mountain as well. They won the Rock Songwriters of the Year Award for, for this particular song in the 30th anniversary of the Sokin Awards. Now, Sokin is S-O-C-A-N, the Society of Composers, Authors and Music Publishers of Canada. And this is an organization that represents the performing arts of more than 135 songwriters, thousands songwriters, composers and music publishers, I should say, and the organization collects license fees through a music license program. So there you go on the background. There's more in the description below. The song is quite a powerful song. It deals with suicide. And the band says, The Mountain is the first single from the TDG sixth studio album, Outsider, the 2018 album. And the official video is released the same day as the song, which talks about this subject, suicide, and how you might fall, but you can't stop climbing. You might fall down, but you have to get back up and keep climbing because sooner or later, you'll get to the top and be able to look down and see what you've overcome. So it deals with a subject matter that either we know of, we've experienced, we know somebody of, or we've read about and it's affected us. So let's take it away. It's my first introduction. Welcome on board my first Canadian at last band, Three Days Grace in the Mountain. As I said, there's a rock element to it. And I think in 2022, we need just to pump it up a little bit. Even though the lyrics are heart wrenching, I just feel it's a type of group that we need to bring onto this channel. They deal with subject matters we're all affected by. So take it away, three days, Grace. Every day I'm just surviving, keep climbing the mountain. Even when I feel like dying, keep climbing the mountain.
boy, if I got a lot to say about that song. Absolutely phenomenal, guys. Welcome on board, Three Days Grace. And it won't take three days to get through the lyrics because it's one, it's a subject matter about suicide that affects us all. And there's quite a few things rushing around my head. And it's a saying that my mother said to me many, many years ago when I came home depressed about people taking a piece of me, taking a piece of me. And I was given all the time to people, but they were always taking a piece of me and the knives were out. And my mother taught me, and I felt very low about that because a lot of people are good people and we all get pieces taken away by other people. And we don't know why, and there's no answers for it. And in my particular case, depression hit in. And she turned around and said to me, when life is so low that, and it pushes you down, 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 that all you can taste is the gravel on the ground. The only way, son, in life is back up. And she held my hand and she said, don't be depressed. Fight it. Be a winner. Climb that mountain. So isn't it funny that on my research, when I wanted three days grace, I saw the boxes and the images. I didn't know really anything about what the song was about until I just read it there and realized this is about suicide. So it was meant to be. So back onto the lyrics now and let's get through it. And every day I'm just surviving, keep climbing, it starts the mountain. Even when I feel like dying, keep climbing that mountain. Every single person, just think about this for a moment, everybody. Every single person because of this pandemic is climbing a mountain, financial security, job losses, and recently something hit me hard that we have all as a world overshadowed and it's the Olympics and the fact that people didn't want the, their teams to go to the next Olympics because of the pandemic and spreading the virus. But those athletes have worked every single day. I think there's four years in between each Olympics and they work every single day in the gym. Some of them aren't even sponsored. They do it themselves. They're dedicated to the sports and they're climbing mountains, mountains and mountains to get a chance at the Olympics to shine for their country and represent their country. Because again, not all of the athletes are sponsored by huge companies. So it just made me think about all that effort, all, all that craziness that goes into being a top sports person for the Olympics suddenly taken away from them because of this pandemic. And I know and I read and have followed through on a couple of athletes who suffered severe depression because of this. So it does affect us in our everyday lives. And I just thought, let's give a thought out for all those athletes that have suffered because the country have pulled back. I just thought I'd mention that. So we're back into another right night. I'm barely holding on one step away from being dead and gone. Am I alive to die another day? Is this life that I've been living that's meant for me? Is this life that I've been living all that's meant to be? No, it isn't everybody because we need to change the negative into positivity and that I cannot into I can. The one thing my mother's saying taught me was, I, I can do this, I can rise above tasting that gravel on the ground. And I started to get angry with the words that she said to me because it was like, how dare they push me down so far, so far. People said I was mad giving up my regular job with a pension in a university, top university here in Dublin at Trinity College and going away to do music and continue writing. But I didn't want my life to end without me achieving success, either in the music or the writing or both. And I'm doing both. And I'm extraordinarily happy. My funds are limited. I don't have the security of a pension unless this channel grows. Please subscribe. And um, my books become more well known. So, but it's a mountain I'm climbing. We're all climbing our own individual mountains. And yes, every day, I'm competing against thousands of videos, but mine are trickling through. My channel has grown in a year. This time last year, I only had 85 subscribers. I've climbed that mountain of getting to know how to attract people. And suddenly, as I reach up, I'm sitting there going, wow, I'm nearly at the top here because my channel now is suddenly heading towards 5,000 subscribers. So I'm very, very 
happy. There are mountains in life to climb, continuous mountains. And to learn everything with this channel, I have to learn 16 tutorial, tutorial videos on YouTube and compete against all the young gamers and all the other young channels out there. It's a constant battle, everyday life. But I don't want to taste that gravel on the ground anymore. And I advise that to you. We can do it together. It continues. Every day I'm surviving climbing the mountain, even when I feel like dying and climbing the mountain. Every time I think over it, I wake up in the bottom of it all. I'm still surviving climbing the mountain, climbing the mountain. And it continues. The higher I go, the harder I fall. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the saying of all sayings? That a lot of people climb so, and they're just nearly at the top, and then suddenly, poof, they fall. And there's an NF rap video out that everybody should see, and it's about him climbing a mountain as well, funnily enough. It seems to be a common theme in songs. And N NF, the rapper, I, I forget now who he's singing with. It's another rapper, and they're carrying balloons. And I never understood what the balloons were. And, and it was the weight of the world and the problems. I, and he was climbing a mountain, and when he got to the mountain, what did he see? Other balloons. Just a thought for you. We all have to face them. It's an everyday situation. You're not on your own. The higher we go, the harder we fall. And yet we get back up time and time again. And people say, why? And I always say to people, I'll tell you why. We're on this earth for a reason. I don't know why. You don't know why. But we are. We're on this earth. We're not in hospital dying like sick children, elderly people disabled people going into hospital having to get course of therapy so their life can be normal we're not like any of those we're not like people at home restricted can't leave the home we're not like them a lot of us are not we've still got feet to walk to the shops do everyday normal things even during this pandemic we there is a reason we're here we just have to believe that karma will come round and show us the light and when it does we'll be fine with me, it was this channel and continue to write. And I've never been so happy. And it took me five years to get to this point from leaving my previous work with a pension to this. So it can happen, but it takes effort. Now it continues every time I'm surviving, keep climbing that mountain. So keep climbing it, folks. Even when I feel like dying, keep climbing. Every time I think I'm over, I keep. I wake up in the bottom of her all again. I'm still surviving. I keep climbing, keep climbing the mountain because that is a story of life. We've all got mountains to climb. So it says before it finishes, so if I'm not ready and I've gone too far and if I feel a pulse and I can carry on, when I'm lost, I want to fade away. I tell myself to live, to die another day, which is what I've just said to all of you. And it repeats. And survive and keep climbing even when I feel like dying climb the mountain over again climb it climb the mountain so there's the message keep climbing the mountain everybody if you need help do go to Google you've got social media at the tips of honestly I, I haven't got my phone with me because I never have my phone I don't want the interference of it but we all have at the end of our fingers now Google search look in suicide prevention groups and go and ring somebody not talk to somebody I always, I always advise against that talk to a neutral person who's got experience outside but do pick up the phone do contact somebody to talk to I ended up talking to my mother and that saying was the best thing that was ever 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 told to me and the other the last thing she said to me was there before the grace of God God go I and I wish that for all of you thanks for listening if you liked what you heard please like subscribe and welcome on board three days grace from Ontario and Canada I finally got my Canadian first musicians on board Hoo -hoo. any recommendations please in the comment section leave below and I'll look into them and they'll be the next ones on board so come on Canada we can do this together it's a mountain I want to climb to find more and more musicians for 2022, but I'm looking forward.